Welcome to the Health Bites section on adult portion sizes. In this video, we'll meet Holly, a young woman who believes large portion sizes have affected her health. Let's see what happens. Today on Food Court with Judge Martha Mack. All rise. With years of experience on the bench, Judge Mack is known for her ability to listen to all the evidence and make decisions based on common sense, compassion, and of course, the research. I believe many people are frustrated by the injustices done in everyday life. They need a chance to have their say, and if possible, a fair outcome. That's what the law is for, and that's what we do here in the Food Court. Plaintiff Holly Connick is suing the Eateria Restaurant Company for $7,680. She claims the restaurant owes her the money she spent on medical and clothing bills stemming from weight gain, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and high blood sugar that resulted from the Eateria's large portion sizes. Defendant Carl Cranston says the Eateria is not at fault. The portion sizes at his restaurant are the same as most other restaurants, and Ms. Connick is not obligated to eat all the food on her plate. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Martha Mack presiding. Thank you. Please be seated. Ms. Connick, you claim that in the year that you ate at the eatery or restaurant, you gained weight, had elevated blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a spike in blood sugar, all of which caused you to incur medical bills and other expenses. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me your story. Well, about two years ago, my kitchen caught on fire, so I wasn't able to cook for myself for almost a year. Wait a minute, a whole year? Why so long? The insurance company required me to get quotes from three different contractors. And when they decided who they were going to go with, the contractor had to fit it into his schedule. All right, I see. Go on. The only way I could cook was with my microwave. So I went pretty often to the eateria because it's the closest restaurant to my house. I ended up eating there about five nights a week. And this is a picture of you eating at the eateria? Yes, Your Honor. That was taken a few days after I started eating there. Eating out that often must have cost you a lot of money. It did. After about a month, my clothes started to feel tight. So I weighed myself and I'd gained five pounds. Then, before I knew it, I'd gained 20 pounds. My clothes didn't fit, so I had to buy new ones. You have the bills there for those clothing purchases in front of you. This is a photo taken of you when you were 20 pounds overweight? Now, wait just a minute. She can't blame me for getting fat. Mr. Cranston? You'll have to be quiet until it's your turn to speak. Yes, Your Honor. Go on, Ms. Connick. I started to feel tired all the time and headachy and confused, so I went to my doctor. He was pretty alarmed at my weight gain. He said that my blood pressure and cholesterol were high and that my blood sugar made me a borderline diabetic. Did he prescribe any medications? No, he wanted to try more conservative measures first, so he told me to exercise and change my diet. And our... All of these, your medical bills? Yes, Your Honor. Did the doctor think there was a connection between your health and eating in the restaurant? Yes, Your Honor. He said most restaurants serve portion sizes that are way too large. Fortunately, by that time, my kitchen was almost finished, so I was able to start making meals myself. And when I did, I started losing weight. After about six months, my blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar were all back to normal. Well, can you prove that the eatery's portion sizes are too large? Yes, Your Honor, I have evidence. All right, before you show me that, let's hear from Mr. Cranston. Your Honor, when people go out to eat, they want to get their money's worth. The portions I serve at the eatery are standard for most restaurants. Now, if Ms. Connick here doesn't want to eat all the food on her plate, she's certainly not obligated to. But most people do eat all the food on their plate. We're trained to do so when we're younger, and that is the whole Ms. point. Ms. Connick, anyway. Ms. Connick, you stated your case. Now please let Mr. Cranston finish. Mr. Cranston? All I was going to say is that my wait staff is happy to provide our customers with take-home containers if they're not able to or don't care to finish their food. Thank you, Mr. Cranston. Now, Ms. Connick, would you like to show me your evidence? What are those things you've got there? These are everyday objects used to measure portion sizes. For instance, a three-ounce serving of beef or chicken should be about the size of this deck of cards. 
Where did you get this information? I found the correct portion sizes on the Choose My Plate website. On another website, I found a chart using these everyday items to measure portion sizes. All right, but this still doesn't tell us about the eateria's portion sizes. I took pictures. I took these items with me to the restaurant to see if I was right and photographed them next to the foods. Would you like to tell us what we're looking at here, Ms. Connick? May I approach the bench? Yes. You see the computer mouse? That's the appropriate portion size for a baked potato. That potato there is like four times that size. And the poker chip, that's the amount of butter that should be used, about a tablespoon. The steak should be the size of a deck of cards, and the green beans a half a baseball. Okay, so I get it. The fish should be about the size of a checkbook. The scoop of rice about the size of a light bulb. The biscuit as small as a hockey puck and the broccoli about the size of half a baseball? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Cranston, I'll tell you right now, there's not nearly enough broccoli. People need to eat more vegetables than this. Yes, Your Honor. What about this salad? Well, Your Honor, about four dice is the appropriate size for cheese. And as you can see there, there's a lot more than that. And the CD size is all you need of sliced meat. Okay. So tell me about this basket of bread. Well, that's exactly my point. Why do they give you so much bread? It's warm and fresh and hard not to eat it all. Mr. Cranston, do you care to comment? Your Honor, I know the portions are large, but it's what my customers expect. Some customers request a take-home box with their meal and they put half their dinner in it before they even start eating. That sounds like a good strategy. Those are the customers who take responsibility for their own portions. It's not up to me how much they eat. She, she can't blame her health problems on my restaurant. Miss Connick, during the time you ate at the eateria, did you practice habits of healthy eating? I don't know what you mean. Did your diet include eating from all the food groups? Did you have low-fat dairy products, whole grains, vegetables and fruit? meat, beans, and eggs? Yes, Your Honor. Are you aware that there's a daily recommended amount for each food group? No, I didn't know that, Your Honor. This is what it looks like. You should have six ounces of grains each day, two and a half cups of vegetables, two cups of fruit, three cups of dairy, and five and a half ounces of protein. Did you take this into consideration as you ate at the eateria? No, I just ate what I normally do during the day, but I was definitely eating larger meals there. When you make meals at home, do you serve the measured portion sizes that you've shown us here today? Yes, I do. Mr. Cranston, have any of your other customers complained that their portion sizes were too large? No, Your Honor. They all seem happy with the food. I realize you have to keep all of your customers happy, but maybe you could put up a sign or a note on the menu that says all customers are welcome to a takeaway box before, during, or after the meal. Ms. Connick, I realize this was a very difficult experience for you. Your health was in jeopardy during the time your cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, and weight were elevated. I'm not making light of that, but you seem to be healthy now and I hope you've learned your lesson. When you go into a restaurant, you are the one who decides what to eat and how much to eat. Judgment in favor of the defendant. Adjourn. Judge Mack has just ruled in favor of the Eateria Restaurant Company. The plaintiff's claim is denied. This is Food Court with Judge Martha Mack. Judge Mack did the right thing in that courtroom today. People really do have to decide for themselves how much they're going to eat. I'm upset that I have to pay the doctor bills, but really, the judge was right. I've learned my lesson when it comes to portion sizes. Join us next time on Food Court, when fast food goes on trial. It looks like Holly learned her lesson. And there's more in this section for you to learn in videos, activities, and fridge notes.